Global citizenship education themes like climate change, migration and development are challenging issues to bring into the classroom. We might not know where to start. A picture book which addresses one of these themes can be an accessible, thought-provoking and engaging resource in this context. So what do I mean when I use the phrase picture books? Well, of course, there are informational picture books, books like Tim Marshall's Prisoners of Geography. This book uses maps and illustrations to illustrate how world politics, economics and geography are interconnected. Factual picture books like this one provide an engaging resource where the design and illustration makes the experience more enjoyable, helps to engage the reader and rely on less on text. It's also more inclusive of different literacy levels. But there are also fictional and non-fictional narrative books, which through a story help to introduce or explore a citizenship theme. The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Conquamba and Brian Miller is one of these non-fiction narrative picture books. It tells the story of one of the authors, William Conquamba. He, William is from Malawi and he uses a book from his library and waste materials that he finds in a dump to build a windmill, which ultimately enables him to irrigate his village and to fight famine. The fact that the story is true, is written by the author, and that there are online materials like TED Talks and a website also created by the author, makes the book a very positive, authentic and current medium through which to explore themes like climate change, energy and adaptation. But fictional picture books too can enable exploration and insight into global citizenship themes. The Lorax by Dr Zeus is now a children's classic. It explores big themes like exploitation of the natural environment, ecosystems and consumerism. Another classic is Sean Tan's book, The Arrival. This book takes the reader on a journey of escape, migration, and ultimately settlement in a new world. It's a wordless picture book. In fact, its wordlessness helps to recreate the experience it's portraying, that of being somewhere where you don't speak the language and you're relying on visual cues to make sense of the world and to communicate what you want to say. These narrative picture books can be a particularly useful resource in teaching global citizenship education. They support learners in empathising and seeing things from the perspectives of characters who may be in very different circumstances to themselves. As well as building empathy, this means that learners' emotional responses to citizenship themes are developed and explored, as well as more knowledge-based learning. These picture books also support citizenship-related skills and discussion. Today's print world is very multimodal. We don't simply communicate through text, but through images, icons and design traits like colour and font. A modern picture book brings together, plays with and exploits these different forms of communication and that's what creates the reading experience. Sometimes the text and the image contradict each other or show different perspectives and that makes the picture book playful, ambiguous and complex. There's often different ways of understanding the picture book and it's this complexity that can support classroom discussion and individual reflection of what would otherwise be very big and very complex concepts. Whichever class you're teaching, even if it's sixth class and the senior classes in the primary school, picture books can be an enjoyable and engaging way of bringing complex concepts into the classroom. Mm -hmm.